In a previous video, we showed how to sweep different levels of tyre saving. Let's suppose we need to perform some extreme tyre saving in a race and target 1.4 MJ of rear tyre energy. This comes at a lap time penalty of 1.2 seconds per lap. However, we can't risk being overtaken on the back straight. We can use strategy weightings to increase the importance of going quickly in this region. First, we need to identify the region where we need to go quick. Let's note down the lap distance just before braking for turn 8 and then turn 10. Bear in mind that the best place to change strategy weight is at the end of straight just before braking where the change to optimal racing line is minimal. It's not a good idea to change the objective at mid corner. The inputs to every study are automatically saved with the results. We want to find the lap with 1.4 MJ energy target copy it to the overlay area for later, and move the inputs to the staging area. We edit the track, enable strategy weights, we define the S-lap region for turn 8 and turn 10 end of straight and give this a strategy weight of 10. We're telling the simulation that lap time in this region is worth 10 times as much as everywhere else. This way we encourage dynamic lap to drive quickly but without explicitly preventing tyre saving. The simulation can still do tyre saving in this region provided the lap time cost is minimal. This produces a better result than if we prevented it altogether. As an aside, you could run an exploration varying strategy weight in this region. A very high number would preclude tyre saving. When the study is finished, we move it to the overlay area. Looking at the delta for the two runs with and without strategy weighting, we gain 140 milliseconds between turn 8 and turn 10 to help avoid an overtake, but it comes at an overall cost to lap time of 171 milliseconds, a trade that could be worthwhile if it keeps us ahead. In our next video, we'll look at how we can improve on our tyre saving lap time with a simple setup adjust.